The Shaheen 3 is Pakistan's longest range missile system, designed to reach Indian island areas to enable Indian forces to establish a second strike capability ability to be denied. The range of Shaheen 3 is more than any other Pakistani missile. The maximum range of the first version of the Shaheen missile was about 1,500 miles, which meant that it could not reach parts of India's eastern border. Shaheen 3 has range of 2,750 km, which makes it capable of reaching almost every corner of India. It is reportedly capable of carrying both nuclear and conventional payloads up to 2,750 km, making it one of the longest range missiles in Pakistan's strategic arsenal. It is equipped with solid fuel and equipped with post-separation altitude correction PSAC, system. Solid fuels are well suited for fast response capabilities, while the PSAC feature enables it to adjust the warhead speed with greater accuracy and avoidance of anti-ballistic missile defense systems. Another asset that will feature the Shaheen 3 would be the capabilities of a more independently targeted re-entry vehicle, MIRV, but if Pakistan could also use these payloads on the Shaheen 2, or worth getting. Shaheen 3 could offer Pakistan the ability to target Indian naval vessels in the Bay of Bengal. The purpose that Shaheen 3 could serve best, however, is to give Pakistan the ability to target Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal. Pakistan aims to take away India's second strike capability, Shaheen 3 does that with strategic deterrent. Therefore, maintaining the capability of the second strike is essential for the stability in South Asia and for the development of Shaheen 3 by Pakistan to snatch the capability of the second strike of India. Pakistan is working on latest version of Shaheen series, Pakistani scientists and engineers are working to equip the Shaheen with multiple warheads, which would make the missiles harder to defend against. Pakistan is working on sea-launched cruise missiles to complete its own triad. The most important thing about nuclear capabilities is that both India and Pakistan see each other as weak which means that the nuclear conflict in South Asia will be catastrophic. They are comparable in the sense that both have the capability to strike each other's territories and cause immense damage and massive loss of life. India has a policy of not using nuclear weapons first. But Pakistan repeatedly refused to take a similar stance, saying that if India attacked Pakistan with conventional forces, it could be forced to resort to nuclear weapons. The size of the Indian army is more than double that of Pakistan and it has considerable advantage in weapons like tanks, airplanes and artillery. Thank you please subscribe our channel and press bell icon for updates.